Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept recruitment and selection. Now, we are going to discuss the topics, meaning of recruitment, sources of recruitment, meaning of selection, and difference between recruitment and selection. Now, let us talk about recruitment. What is recruitment? Recruitment process starts when manpower planning ends. Manpower planning is the process by which a firm ensures that it has the right kind of people at the right place at right time. After manpower planning, the process of recruitment starts. Recruitment is the process of generating applications or applicants for specific positions. So, the recruitment process starts immediately after manpower planning ends. So first we have to know the meaning of manpower planning. Manpower planning is the process where top level management plans how many employees are required for a particular task or work. This manpower ensures the right number of people at right time at the right position. Manpower helps the management to avoid a shortage or surplus of personnel in an organization. Now after manpower planning is over, now recruitment starts. Now what is recruitment? Recruitment is the process of collecting applications from prospective candidates for a particular job in an organization. Next topic is definition. According to Flippo, Recruitment is a process of searching for prospective candidates and stimulating them to apply for jobs in an organization. So, according to Flipo, recruitment is a process of searching or attracting candidates for apply for job in an organization. So, so it involves attracting large pool of candidates with certain qualification to apply for job in an organization. Attracting the candidates through the mail, advertisement, in leading newspapers, etc. Now, let us go to the next topic. Sources of recruitment. The sources of recruitment can be broadly classified into two categories. First is internal source, second is external source. First, internal sources. So internal sources refers to the present or existing workforce of a company. Whenever any vacancy occurs, a person from within the organization is transferred, promoted or sometimes demoted. So, so internal sources mean recruiting them from within the organization. It may be through a promotion or through transfers. This source is suitable for recruiting top level positions. Now, what is promotion? Promotion is nothing but the person who is given the highest cadre from his existing position. Transfer means no change in position but changing the place of job. Next is external sources. External sources are not within the organization. The recruitment from outside the organization. Among the more uh, commonly used external sources are the following. They are former employees, friends and relatives of present employees, on-campus recruitment, uh, employee exchanges, labor unions, advertisement, uh, and etc. So first we'll discuss uh, former employees. Former employees who left the organization for personal reasons may be re-employed. So former employees are those who already left the organization and now want to rejoin the organization. Next is friends and relatives of present employees. Sometimes some industries encourage employees to recommend their friends and relatives for appointment in the concern. So in some organization, friends and uh, relatives of Employees would be given the opportunity to apply for job in an organization. Next is on-campus recruitment. On-campus recruitment in which large number of candidates may be recruited. So many big companies remain in touch with colleges from where young candidates may be recruited. So uh, in this case, the organization uh, uh, recruit 
candidates from leading colleges and it is one of the very important and uh, very uh, common source of recruitment. So next is employment exchanges. Employment exchanges register unemployed people and maintain the records of their names, qualification, etc. So employment exchanges where both employees who provide the job as well as employees or job seekers need to register and employers on their part uh, intimate the exchanges about the vacancies and the type of employees they require for filling the vacancies. Employees, uh, employee exchanges shortlist the name of uh, some candidates and forward their names to employers. So now employment exchanges are not that not that uh, important uh, source of recruitment. Now, labor unions. Labor unions recommended uh, recommend uh, persons for jobs in an organization. So, labor unions uh, that have good relationship with organization also sometimes recommend people for vacancy in an organization. So, next is advertisement. Advertisement in leading newspapers regarding the vacancy in an organization. Even advertisement serve as the uh, best source of recruitment. Uh, in this uh, external source of recruitment, job vacancy is conveyed through advertisement in leading newspapers. Next is applicants at gate. Unemployed persons at the gates of the factories are interviewed by the factory representative and those who are found suitable for the existing vacancies are selected. So, unemployed persons at the factory gate also serve as the external source. This source is popular in those countries where a large number of candidates are in need of jobs that to lower level positions. Next topic is selection. Selection means choosing a qualified candidate by eliminating all those who do not suit for a job in an organization. Under selection, the manager compares the candidate's qualification with the requirement of a job and chooses those who best suits the job. So, the selection is the process of choosing a, a suitable candidate for the job or vacant position in the organization. In other words, Selection involves eliminating the unsuitable candidate for a job in an organization. So, under a selection, uh, the manager compares candidate's qualification or prerequisite qualification and capabilities uh, to fill the job in the organization. So next topic is recruitment versus selection or difference between recruitment and selection. So first point is recruitment is the first step in the hiring process and selection is the second step towards the hiring process. So recruitment is the first and foremost step in the hiring process and selection is second in the hiring process. So after completion of recruitment only selection starts first is next is uh, recruitment is the process of attracting a large pool of candidate to apply for a job in an organization selection is the process of choosing a qualified candidate in order to fill the vacancy in an organization so recruitment is the process of attracting a large pool or large number of candidate to apply for an job in the organization Usually here in this process, even uh, employers need to stimulate the candidate to apply for the job in an organization. Next is selection. Selection is the process of choosing a qualified candidate who suit for an organization uh, or who suits for a uh, job in an organization. Next is recruitment. Recruitment is a positive process and Selection is the negative approach. So, 
Recruitment is considered as positive process as it involves attracting a large number of candidates and giving opportunity to each and every candidate who apply for an for a job in an organization. But the selection is a negative process where only qualified or uh, suitable persons are selected. So, recruitment is positive approach and selection is negative approach. Next is, recruitment process is economical and the selection process is comparatively expensive. The recruitment is ec economical compared to selection because selection involves more number of procedures uh, for choosing the candidate. So, it will be costly or it will be expensive for employers uh, comparatively uh, than uh, recruitment. So, here we have finished the concept of recruitment and selection. In the next video, we are going to cover other topics. In the next video, we are going to discuss other management topics. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Uh, thank you for your support.